So fingers in the interspinous space. So the first interspinous space you'll come to is between C2 and C3. And gently extending the cervical spine as you feel in that gap in between the spinous spaces. As you can see, you piggyback your fingers to go down the cervical spine and remain, keep one finger in the space above whilst you piggyback down. Patient in supine and see the generation of the force is from the legs, from the body, not the hands and shoulders. So you palpate C2 again, underneath C2. And then do an extension movement. You see there's not much movement between each level. Piggyback, piggyback over. So we're now on C4-5. And then piggyback on the other side, C5-6. C6, 7, keeping your hands nice and soft so that you can feel the movement. And down into the thoracic area.